I'm joined now by publisher and editor Wilfram Banga, who joins us live from Johannesburg. Hi there. Let me ask you this. The sign of any healthy democracy is a strong opposition. So with Changarai's passing and the fracturing of the MDC, to what extent do you believe a solid opposition party can be formed now in Zimbabwe? Well, there are efforts to unite various opposition parties. Unfortunately, Zimbabwe uh, is one of those countries where several people think they can lead the opposition. We have, at the last count, 87 uh, different political parties all fighting uh, to uh, take part in the next elections. Um, well, at the moment, uh, there are various groups that are trying to unite the opposition. Unfortunately, the biggest opposition party, which was led by Morgan Changirai, uh, seems to be tearing itself apart. The three vice presidents in that party are busy fighting and claiming leadership of the party at the moment, which gives um, the ruling Zano PF a free reign. They will obviously uh, sweep the polls if we go to the elections with the party divided like this. Absolutely. And I mean, we know Mugabe may be gone, but uh, ZANU-PF is still the only party to hold power in Zimbabwe since 1980. So how open would ZANU-PF actually be to allowing a stronger opposition to form? Well, um, Nangagwa, the new president, he says, um, you know, he wants to see uh, free, fair and credible elections. And you can't have free and fair and credible elections if um, you're making it difficult for the opposition to, to organize and to campaign. So he will be seen to be bending over backwards to accommodate the opposition parties, knowing fully well that um, because of their um, disunity, they cannot dislodge him. So, you know, they are playing into the hands of, um, of Zadu PF. And um, Emerson Nagagwa doesn't need to rig this election. He can go and win it freely and fair. Okay, let me ask you. Which will be trying. Right. I'm hoping you can still hear me. Um, if you could serve, hypothetically, as chief advisor for the opposition, what would you advise them to do at this point in order to pull a core together and prove as a real party that could go up against Zanu PF? They've got to think of Zimbabwe first. Um, at the moment, they're thinking of themselves. They are busy, you know, imagining themselves as the new president after the elections in, in July. Um, and I'm afraid that they won't get there. What they need to do right now is uh, to forget about their egos and come together, form one cohesive political organization that can dislodge ZANU PF. Okay. Um, the way they're going up at the moment, they haven't got a chance. Okay. Wilfram Banga, thank you so much for joining us live there from Johannesburg.